Praxis and I'm here back at Red House and I'm working on the underground or under slab air intake for the wood stove. Uh, I mentioned in the earlier video that I'm going to be running it from the greenhouse and it has to land right where the wood stove is going to be. And these are the materials that I'm uh, using for it. I'm going to be using this four inch uh, in diameter. Uh, this is just drain pipe, uh, it's just plastic drain pipe. But it's kind of nice because it's double walled, so it creates a little bit of insulation layer right on there. Uh, most outside air adapters for wood stoves are just three inches, but I figured, you know, I'll just go a little bit bigger. It'll be a little bit easier flow through there because it is kind of a long run. It's about uh, 20 feet of pipe from one end to the other. So, you know, if you make it a little bigger, there's a little less drag. This is what the pipes look like right out of the store. And this is what I'm turning them into. I've got the pipe in the middle and it has about, it's like an inch, inch and a half of urethane foam all over the outside. And then it's got spray foam kind of gluing it together. The pieces of, uh, of foam are actually scrap from my first homestead. Some of this stuff is like 15 years old. Some of it's scrap from making that small shed, the, the storage shed that I had at the last homestead. But I kept all the stuff in this bag here and there's other bags like that. And it was just absolutely perfect because I had all these strips already ready to go. I just laid them down, duct taped them all around here. As you can see, uh, they, they fit in kind of nicely. And then just did spray foam all along the edges. Now it's a nice rigid pipe. And what these are gonna, uh, I'm not just gonna bury these directly, these are going to get laid inside of these blue pipes right here. Uh, these were brought to me by the, uh, the contractor that's doing the site work. I'd asked for corrugated uh, eight inch drain pipe. They brought this, I bet this is a heck of a lot more expensive, but I was just happy to see something show up. And this is actually gonna be really nice because it's strong stuff and it'll be good for being under the slab. The tricky part on this is the, uh, all of the, uh, the joints between them because it has to come in and run for like about 10 feet and then do a 45 degree angle and go up uh, you know or over towards the wood stove area for about another 10 feet and and doing like the the joints between the, these guys are just a little bit tricky because I'm cutting them at an angle uh, it's a 22 and a half degree angle to make a 45 degree angle so each one has to be cut at 22 and a half and that's all easy on with pen and paper you know just take a ruler 22 and a half degrees whatever but when it gets to into the real world and you have to actually uh, apply these uh, cuts to an, an actual object it becomes a little bit more challenging I had to go back to my math to remember uh, you know how to lay everything out on there I had to figure out the uh, uh, circumference of the tube so I could figure what is one quarter of the way around so I could make a, like a you know proper angle and everything I I thought that it was pi square uh, or uh, pi r I thought that was uh, was the equation for circum circumference it's actually two pi r when I got an answer of a circumference of 13 inches on an eight inch pipe that just didn't sound right because it just didn't sound big enough so I, I looked it up and it's two pi r is the uh, you know the equation for getting circumference so I'm relearning some math you're not throwing away your time if you're in high school learning mathematics it's very useful if you want to do things in the real world and I'm you know going back and having to dig up some of that old stuff to, to put this stuff together. So I'm gonna be cutting these all up uh, now, here, uh, in uh, putting the foam inserts into these guys, and then I'm gonna bring them over to the build site and actually assemble them on site. Tomorrow uh, afternoon is when the people are supposed to show up and do the backfill and the perimeter drain around there. And when they're there, I'm gonna make sure that I'm there so I can make sure everything's going properly and I can take photographs before everything gets backfilled. The uh, building inspector said photographs would be fine of the perimeter drain, so just lay it in, take some photographs, and then you can backfill. That speeds everything up, uh, so I wanna make sure those pictures get taken. And as soon as we get the fill inside the, uh, the place, I can start laying this stuff in and then putting some more fill up and around that. So things are finally starting to move. It's a beautiful day, it'd be great to be swinging a hammer. I wish all this stuff had been done months ago, but here we are and we're doing the best we can with it. And I think things are really starting to move now, day to day, actual new developments every day. That's it. Thanks for watching.